Hey guys, Proto here, welcome back to Blackthorn Arena. Here we are for a brand new series, unfortunately, because I thought I would have a bit of a muck around off camera and start a new game um, using the same name as I did before. And when I did, it overrided our last save game. So, face palm moment, but we have to start again. Um, I did make two initial slaves, uh, Stubble, who's a dwarf, and Elfin, who's an elf, of course. Um, so I've just done like a random, random face. I don't really care, to be honest, what I look like. But um, that looks pretty cool, I think. Let's go start. Uh, yes, so this is what happens. Arch archive already exists. Do you want to overwrite? Yes. I didn't read that the first time. I just pressed yes. And, yep. Override our last save, unfortunately. Which is a bit of a bummer. I did have a few episodes um, recorded. Episode 3 and 4 for you guys to release the day I'm recording this. I'm, number 3 was supposed to come out in two days, number 4. But... Because I overrided the, the save file, decided just to scrap those guys and start all over again and hopefully have a bit better outcome, I guess. Hopefully the load time's not too bad. Um, I do know there's a recent update has been released as of a couple of days ago, I think. So hopefully they've worked on the load times a little bit, but still taking a little while. I don't want to sort of jump in and out too much with you guys sort of, you know, Cutting here, cutting there, in and out. I really hate doing that sort of stuff. I think it's probably better for you guys, but I'm not sure. Let me know if you'd prefer me to cut out the loading screens and bring you guys back in when it's finished loading. You guys, let me know what you think. More than happy to do it if that's what you really want. So, Alright, so this is our first fight. Um, don't really need to read all this. You guys have read it before. Pretty much going to fight today. So he's going to send in a couple of novice gladiators, which is Princeton and... Dyson, and we've got Elfwin and Stubble, of course. Okay, so Stubble's going to be more of a defensive dwarf, and Elfwin's going to be more of a duelist. So hopefully he'll have um, pretty good, pretty good attack speed and be able to use two weapons and that sort of stuff. So Elfwin's going in pretty hard. I think um, I don't know what's going to happen here with. I just hope no one dies, really. Um, Stubble really needs to attack this other guy, I think. There we go, so at least I'm just sort of fighting one on one now, which might make it a little bit easier. A little bit worried about Elfwin at the moment. Hoping he actually can take this guy down. Oh, we're getting low on hit points. Oh, one more hit and we're gone, I think. Oh, close. Come on. But I'm going to have to run. Run, 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 run. Oh, no. Alright, come on. Stubble's going to have to take both these guys out now. It's not a very good start, was it? Come on, he's got hardly any hit points left. There we go. Uh, combat style. More defensive, I think he should be. He's, oh, he's been knocked out, so he's not dead. That's a, so he's knocked out too, which is good. 81 to 64 as far as hit points go. Oh, come on. Oh, we're hitting him pretty hard, which is good. We've got decent stamina. With him being more... Defensive is good. Um, gauge style. Yeah, initiative. He wants to be initiative, I think. Oh! Right, so we did win, which is good. Uh, obviously, we're going to kill them to gain some extra favour. Looks like we're both still alive. Thank God for that. We're not dead. That's the main thing. So they're both dead, we're slightly wounded, which is, I'm happy with that, that's fine. Uh, we got 10 silver, 30 favour. It's just both slightly wounded, so we can go and get these guys healed up pretty quick, which will be good. Um, first thing I want to do is get a cook, um, a trainer, a medic, and also a um, smithy as well. Those four guys are probably the most important thing to start with. And we need to try and make sure we're getting a decent amount of money income and that sort of stuff. I think that's probably the hardest thing is the income. 
need to certainly make sure we're, our money is sort of staying up there. We're not wasting too much money. Picking the right fights this time, I think. Right, so let's skip through this. Um, yep, that's all I want to know. All right, um, done. So one guard, 100% stop escape rate, which is good to see. Let's go both these guys in here because they're a little bit hurt. Uh, let's go oops, straight to the marketplace, I should say. We'll head straight there, so there's no point in um, sending someone for us because all they're going to do is, is sell stuff. So we really need to try and find, as I said, a cook, uh, a trainer, smithy, and a medic. First four, they're probably the most important things. I'm not worried about any other gladiators just yet. I think if we can keep these two guys and get them up really high levels, that's probably the main thing is to get two really strong guys that can fight pretty much everybody. So I want to get heavy, heavy armor and stuff too. For one of our guys, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see what we can find. Leadership three, which don't really doesn't really bother us. Uh, leadership three, medical one. Cook 3, Medical 3, that's good. Oh, but Hobson's really expensive. Right, so we'll get Jacob. Now, um, did I actually... Right, can we actually take their... No, I can't take their stuff off them yet. Damn it, I should have took it all off them before. Um... I'd like to see what he's using though. He's just using a warhammer and a shield. So, one handed dueling sword. I really want to go with green. Is that one handed? No, it's two handed as well. Uh, we want to go with stuff that's green. Senior medium. Nothing really good there because I want to go with heavy and I want to go light. Light with um, elf one. Abadashier, so swordman, uh, agility, precision, and agility, which I think is what Elfwin needs. Um, yeah, it really is. So we can get that for Elfwin, that for Elfwin. Uh, food merchant, not going to worry about. Let's head to the Thieves Guild. So we still need to get a trainer, uh, a smithy, and a medical person if we can. If we can't get them today, then we might have to come back again tomorrow and try and get them and just try and set up for the future as early as we can. And look at, obviously, armour and weapons and that sort of stuff. So, um, Adele, no. Medical 2, Medical 2, Smithy 2, Coach 3, Jarrett. Right, so Coach 3. Get him. Uh, weapon Merchant, Knight Sword, Strength and Endurance. Grab that. Uh, we don't really need a bow, there's nothing good there as a shield. Uh, Gladiator Helmet, is that class? That's Agility. Senior Light Skirt, Light Boots. Yeah, we'll get those. And that as well. Uh, what's the blue level? It's something different, I guess. Ranger's cloak. We've already got that. Thieves' cloak. Ranger's belt. Did we get agility? Swordsman's belt. Um, it's just a nice belt. Can we sell that back? That's at ten, isn't it? So precision. Precision and agility. So. This stuff is going to go. The stubble, this stuff is. Let's get rid of this crap that we've got here. We don't need none of this. Um, intelligence and stamina. Intelligence and stamina. So that's agility, which we don't really need. Precision. So already got agility and precision there, so that's not too bad. Alchemy shop. I don't really know what this sort of stuff does, to be honest. Um, so we've got our cook, 
and our coach. Get rid of that. We need book coach, medical, and smithy. So medical and smithy would be two things we really need to get if we can. Pretty important to get them as soon as possible. So I want to get good equipment straight away. That's one thing that I've sort of had a look around when I've been watching a few other people play, getting some ideas and you know people have always suggested just to get some good gear straight away which does help a lot so uh, coach 2, leadership 2, cook 3, coach 3, torture 2, torture 3, coach 3, nope no one there is going to help us uh, unfortunately. Two handed sword, it's a shield, plus 10 stamina save, we'll buy that as well um, let's go back to our inventory, so that's going to go there. Senior Heavy, Strength and Accuracy. Want that there. Um, senior Helmet. Not sure what Willpower. Um, we want him to wear heavy equipment if we can. Uh, Thief, Ranger, Heavy Duty Belt, which really doesn't do anything. Intelligence and Willpower. Strength and plus 10 health point. We'll definitely buy that as well for him. Um, so the blue ones are better, but they're a lot more expensive too, as you can see. Uh, battle bow recipe, leather quiver, expensive herbs. Um, iron fur, pure iron, timber. That's really expensive, but I don't know how good it's going to go when we actually go to sell things. We really haven't found the right um, the right people yet for what we need. We don't have um, yeah, we don't have what we need. Cook, no coach. Torture two, torture three, Smith three. We don't need that. Let's go back home. We'll get our guys kitted out, and we'll um, skip through another day. Head back again. See if we can't find. Our medical person and our smithy as well. With the training guy, I'm pretty sure he obviously allows us to get experience points a lot quicker, and I'm pretty sure he also reduces the chance of injury, which is good as well. But the highest we can get for any of those stats is three, so that's why I'm trying to go for level three stuff. Right, so let's go Elfwin. Um, Put all this on you. So there, they can all go. So I know he's over encumbered, but a wood club and a hammer. Eventually, he'll get a lot better, I think. Certainly, his agility is what you want to sort of raise straight away, and also his dual dual weapons. Um, so go down to Jewel. We want to use all passive stuff at the moment. We don't really want to use anything else. Uh, passive. So Jewelist. Passive. Um. Alright, this one. Dodge. Accuracy and dodge is increased by 10. Good, we'll do that. I said, I know he's over encumbered, but... Um, for him, uh, combat style, you can be cautious, attack direction, um, I don't know if that really matters, triggers, not going to worry about any of that, right, let's go through to stubble, give him those things, so this stuff can be sold, no it's not worth a great deal of money, but Strength and Endurance. I definitely want to bump up his Strength and also Shield. Um, let's go Weapon. So that Passive, that's not Passive either. Expert Blocker. So he needs to go up a level, two levels in Shield I think. Um, he hasn't unlocked anything else. What about One Hand? Um, I think we'll go with shield, sort of bump him up a little bit there. 
Um, so he's a defender. Sharp stab and blunt damage resistance by 5%. Um, and also a berserker. 3% of health loss grant you 0.3 attack bonus speed. Ah, oh, this one is reduces, increases the sharp and blunt resistance by 5%. I think we'll do that for now. Right, for his tactics, we want to go. You want him to be initiative. Um, you want him to be defensive, attack direction. Uh, we'll just go front, I guess. Uh, triggers not going to worry about. So that's those two guys done. Um, these guys don't really need to wear anything at the moment, except for their skirts, I guess. Shouldn't say skirts, but you know. So Jarrett can go into there. Uh, Elf on a stubble is still healing. Jacob can go into there, and he can research. Um, not sure what does what. Let's go with diet. We'll see what happens there first. All right, get those guys here. Let's go back to the market again because we want to try and get said our medic and our smithy as well. Smithy, we want to try and get them to be uh, researching like um, armor and that sort of stuff. Good to find stuff that we can actually research, that we can craft, that actually we can sell to make decent money out of. So that's one thing we really need to try and do we don't want to be losing too much money but hopefully after this day we should be able to have our next battle all right let's have a look through uh, no leadership it's anything you got smithy leadership leadership Oop. medical three for Hobson but he's level eight I don't want to pay that much I really don't um, Strength, I don't want to use that. Is that that's a two handed sword? We need to get some more. Um, what am I trying to say? We need to get is that that's a city lights good. We need to get some more weapons for elf and stubbles. Good as far as weapon and stuff goes. Um, and his armor, I think he's got gauntlets, and that's about it. So. Um, Alright, Haberdashier, yeah. Ranger's Cloak. They're even more expensive, these Champions ones. Good Merchant, not going to worry about. Let's go through here and go back to Weapon Merchant. Uh, let's go to our Armor Merchant. I mean, it's not. We're not getting much out of it, but. You know, it's better than leaving them there for no reason. So, Thieves Guild. We still need this medical guy and um, Smithy, I guess. I guess medical is probably more important than the Smithy, but... I don't want to buy someone who's like level 8 or something. I just want like a level 1 slave. Um, so, you're expensive. 2 medical. 2 medical. 2 for Smith. Two for Smith, but he's one gold. Okay, so two for Smith, two for medical. I think we'll buy both of them, just in case. Um, spear, two-handed battle bow, armor merchant. Any green stuff? No. What right, has oh, his stubble got? Hasn't got cloaks or anything, I don't think. He's got a cloak and a belt, so he hasn't got a belt or a cloak. Amethyst, intelligence, intelligence we don't really want. Alright, let's go to the next place. Let's see what else we can find. Hopefully there's no one any better than level 2 of either medical or smithy, otherwise we're going to waste a little bit of money, but we can sell our slaves back, which is always a bonus.
I'd like to have one more battle too before we end the episode, but we're already up to just over 20 minutes, so see what happens. Uh, coach 2, Leadership, Cook 3, we don't need Coach 3, Torture 2, Torture 3, Coach 3, no, nah, good, that worked out well. Uh, Claymore's two-handed, don't need nothing from there. Senior Helmet, uh, Willpower, we don't need that either. Abadashi Air, Thief's Cloak, which is one agility. Silver Sapphire, Intelligence and Willpower. I don't think that's going to help too much. Um, time of Skills, Willpower, Stamina Point. Uh, it gives him extra stamina, I guess, but... Let's see, Stamina 67. Let's get it, and we'll see what happens. Um, we can't put it on him now, anyway. The stubble hasn't got anything. Thief's cloak is agility. Um, it's his agility. Agility is really low, so just increases his attack speed. Precision. I guess we could buy both of those. And just see what happens, I guess. Um, don't need to worry about none of that stuff, I don't think, at the moment. Let's go back home. So we've got everybody we need now, so now we can focus on a, a battle or something, hopefully. Just need to be able to find the right, right battle, of course. Hopefully we don't need to hire another guard, that's another thing. We don't want people to be running off on us or anything. Right, ooh, escape rate 38%. Yeah, I'm worried about that a little bit. Uh, Elmo can go into there. Uh, Smithy, Shelby can go into there. It's so a research armor. So you can research medicine. I think these guys are still a little bit hurt. Training ground. Don't either of those guys in there, so let's go back through and look at um take all of the stuff off us, you can just wear a skirt. Uh same as you. We've got stubble, um Thief's cloak and the belt. Elf one can have that. They're pretty much they're all fully kitted out. I know they're both overweight, but I don't think that matters too much. Um, I guess the thing I'm worried about is them trying to run off, but if I do, it's going to increase our wages. Drops it down a little bit. Alright, let's have a look at, um, where are we? Uh, is it there? Nope. Arena info. Exhibition. I don't think we'll be allowed to go there. Rather look at the map. Makes it easier looking at the map. Uh, tournament. Team size of 1. 2 levels. 18 silver. That's in the pit. Um, team size 4. We don't have. We can't go there. Giant rats. It's only 6 silver. Iron and some timber is good though. Um, Team size 4, level 2. So I think he would be the one. When is that? That's got one day left. That has... Two days left. So we could go to here and go enroll. Take you out and put in... Elfwin. And we could... Dispatch him. And then if we go to here, enroll, we can enroll stubble and go start. So hopefully Elfwin will come back with a win. Hopefully stubble can get a win here as well. I really hope so, otherwise we're gonna gonna be in a little bit of trouble, I think. Alright, so where are we? Down here. 
1.6 to 2.4. So we can max bet Theodore as well. Uh, level 6 to level 1. Yeah, we'll bet on both. Beautiful. It's going to be a little bit hard for us to win this now because we're going to be level 6 versus level 2 potentially. So when she's arranged a ranged fighter as well, which we're not. We're hand to hand, of course. All right, let's go auto. Okay, hopefully he's got a block and there we go. Oh, Shani hit us for a little bit. Good block as well. We should probably really, really destroy her. She's not hitting us for very much, which is great. 4, 4.2. Oh, she actually blocked. Uh, let's just over the shoulder. Bit of a dodge. So she's hitting us for 4, between 4 and 5, so it's not too bad, but she's dodging a lot, which. It's not great, but we're hitting her for 14, so. 14.1. And our stamina is pretty good too, like our stamina is not running down a great deal, so she's running away, but uh, I think they want her to die, so let's we'll kill her. We don't want to have too many gladiators to come back against us later on, so normal, dead, gain some more experience, but not up another level yet. So it's even. Even Stevens. Um, Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not going to bet on this one, because I just don't know what what's going to happen here. So she's ranged as well, which is interesting. We're obviously hand-to-hand, -hand, but more defensive, but we should be able to take her out reasonably easily here. Take, him out. Right, take her out. Ooh, that was actually a really good hit. Oh. What the hell's going on with her? Looks like she's not even shooting. We're not doing a great deal of damage to her. She's got us with her some decent hits though. There we go. Get in there and take her out. Man vs woman doesn't seem fair but... She's dodging, but we're we're blocking and dodging as well, which is good. Her stamina is really, really low, which is going to only help us, I think. She's over encumbered and stuff as well. Come on, stubble. Get on in there. Take a bit of a screenshot. It's a shame I can't actually... Free mode. Can't actually move around too much. Doing pretty good though. Not a fan of how the camera works at all, but one more hit, we should. Ooh, nearly. Actually, really. We're doing really well against her. Let's hope we don't come back with any injuries. She's got one hit point left. She's not running either, which is really good. Uh, let's go die as well. So we, we destroyed both of them. We actually did really, really well. I'm um, pretty happy with that. Slightly wounded, she's dead. We're up to level 3. Let's go continue. Beautiful. So we won 3,200. So that's 32 silver and 18 silver. So that's a pretty good income for us. Shield and some leather as well, which isn't worth much. The shield's worth not much either. Um, he's defeated. Oh, that's not good. Elfwin got defeated. No, that's not very good at all. Um, well, that's 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 yeah, not what I expected. That's for sure. Let's bring Elfwin back into here. So they're both doing their thing. Um. 
to five silver 80 a day which it's a little bit expensive see how these guys go heal rate 17 cure speed 2 um, I could buy some leather no we don't want to buy either of those thank you though right, stubble's ready to go let's see if there's anything available I have one qu more quick uh, battle there's nothing today there's something up here but that's not for us so let's skip um, your smithy is uh, what's that new recipe junior medium gauntlet t2 recipe that's pretty good all right let's go to smithy so if we get him to craft it what does it take a junior medium gauntlet with an extra iron okay um I want him to keep researching, but I don't want to do it too much because he's not quite ready yet. I don't want it to cost us a fortune. Team size 1, level 2. Uh, let's go... It's not much money, but we'll enroll Stubble again. We'll head off. We'll see what happens, because he did really well last time. So if Stubble can get another win here, I'll be... Really happy with him, and he should... Actually, I think he did go up a level, we didn't even do that, did we? Hopefully, um... Hopefully you'll do alright here. 1.6, yet we'll go full bet. We should take this out pretty easily. Two-handed sword, though, so he might do a little bit of damage, but he's going to swing a lot slower than we will, I think. Um... Ooh. He got hit by the trap. So did we a little bit. Ooh, 11. But we're doing 11 as well, so... Stay away from the traps. Ooh, good block. He dodged as well. 10 and a 12, so... Oh, there we go. He's, he's dead. It wasn't even us, but... Kill him. Gain some favour. That was a pretty easy win, that one. I do like the look of it. Look of him though, he does look pretty cool. Normal, level 4, he's dead. Awesome. So we gained 16 silver from our bet. So really we only gained, you know, 6 silver and 9. So, But still, it's us still getting ahead, so that's the main thing. Um, quickly going to our characters. So Stubble is the only one that's really gone up a level. Let's have a look at his um, skills for his shield. Passive, not passive, not passive. So I want him to go up one more level in the shield. So we can actually get that upgraded. Um, uh, I'm not sure. Defender. So this is juice weight burden by 20%. Increase stamina. This one, resistance, I think I want to do that as well. But equipment, I want him to be really strong pretty much um, at the moment. So he should do some more damage, 12 to 17. Um, it's really not going to help us any of that stuff. And I think elf one is pretty good, we, he didn't go up another level so that's all good. So, radio guys, we'll, um, Stubble's here just having a good old look around. Is anyone still in the treatment room? No, the Stubble need to go, sort of. But we'll put Elfwin into here, so we can do a little bit of training. Um, we can put him down into here. Um, and what is he? He's a duelist, didn't he? So if we can train him as a... Actually... I can't remember what we actually selected. What's his traits? Uh, skills, genera, duelist, or rogue. Duelist or rogue. I don't really care about the rogue side of things, I don't think. Um, we can't actually go for either of those, which is weird. 
weapon and shield, two handed weapon, one hand, uh, dual weapon, duelist and rogue, which we can't actually train for either of those, so we might as well get him out of there and put him into there. Normal training. Alright, we'll go and have a look at um, our main man here. Stubble is doing his thing. Alright, so we're not doing too bad. Um, let's have a look at our main hall quickly. So he's still researching. One more day. Um, you're researching. She's researching. Let's go through. Recipe oatmeal. So I don't know. We go cook. Is that just research? Is that um oh, okay? So here we can change health, restore, mor morale, so we can get water. No diet. I think just get him to research a diet and see what happens. I don't know what the best thing to research is, but radio right guys, we'll end the episode here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. If you did. As always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far, and if you want to see it continue, hopefully I won't overwrite this save game, it would be much better in the future. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno, thanks for watching. See you again soon.